Hello everybody, welcome to the Personal Excellence Web Lecture. My name is Celeste and thank you for listening. Well, uh, I think there's been a lot of support for the PE Web Lectures and I'm very, very happy. Um, the podcasts have been getting a lot of support, if not more. I think um, a lot of people have found this very, very useful as podcasts, like um, when they're exercising or jogging or when they're just commuting to work. They found like uh, it's very helpful and useful to just plug in something and listen to it while they get on with the, their daily tasks. And uh, some readers have actually told me that they listen to um, the podcasts while they are up and about doing like their housework and stuff. And I think that is actually a great idea. Like when you're doing your housework, like ironing your clothes or washing the dishes, there's like nothing, uh, nothing else that you're doing. And uh, it's a great way to absorb some personal growth information while you are doing those tasks. And in fact, if you want, um, you know, like I often think of flossing as a very boring activity. And uh, I mean, I do it every day still, but I always feel like um, it's a, I don't know, like it's just me standing there trying to floss my teeth and like I can be doing something else uh, during that time. So if you're someone, someone who finds flossing boring like me, you can listen to the, um, the web lectures or the podcasts during those times as well. And when you're brushing your teeth, of course. Okay, so today's topic is about procrastination, specifically how to overcome procrastination. So I think procrastination is something that a lot of us face in our daily lives. Um, like uh, the readers at PE, they often tell me about how uh, they're experiencing procrastination uh, toward their studies, procrastination toward their work, um, procrastination toward their goals in their life, following their dreams and so on. So procrastination seems to be something that a lot of people grapple with, like just trying to put off something, just trying to delay it um, at a later stage. And I think uh, for myself, I used to see instances of procrastination at work when I was younger. And um, now looking back, I realized like the procrastination was really a manifest uh, manifestation of something else. Like one biggest thing which I found about procrastination is that it is really a symptom of something else, a symptom of a bigger issue. And the sooner you stop seeing procrastination as the problem, <clears throat> the sooner you see procrastination as just a symptom and not a problem to be resolved, the sooner you demystify the whole notion of procrastination, the sooner you will overcome and address it. Because, um, it's the same as, say, when you deal with mosquito bites. Okay, let's say you have a mosquito bite. What would you do first? Okay, like most people will maybe put some um, ointment, like um, some mosquito bite cream on that mosquito bite to ease the itching and the swelling. But in the long term, what's going to happen is that you just start seeing more mosquito bites. And even though you have already applied the ointment on the first bite and it has uh, healed, like you just get more on a daily basis. And, and why is that? And it's because the root of the issue was not resolved. The root of the issue here is that the mosquito itself, like the mosquito itself still exists. And um, possibly it's because there's a breeding ground that's uh, somewhere in your house that you're not aware of. And by consistently trying to deal with the mosquito bites, it's, it's not gonna solve the problem. You're just gonna um, solve it in the short term, like maybe you resolve that that uh, bite in that one day, but tomorrow it comes up again, the next day again, next week again, and then every week it just comes back again and again, no matter how hard you try. That's because it's just simply not the problem. You must go to the root of the issue, like eradicate the breeding ground, and from there on you just no longer have any mosquito bites in the future. And that is exactly the same as uh, when you, it comes to dealing with procrastination. You must demystify this notion of procrastination. You are not trying to deal with procrastination itself. Now, it, uh, so the topic, like the topic title, how to overcome procrastination, is really a trick title in itself. Because what I try, what I try to um, uh, bring across here is that procrastination is not the issue. It is the symptom of the problem. And the sooner you do that, the faster you address it. So for myself, I realized this um, maybe a few years ago. And um, so that is when I really started getting down to the root of uh, why I procrastinate on certain things. 
so I guess like um, when I was younger, perhaps I would have I procrastinated more on on um, like more on uh, most things in life. Like let's say when I was student, I would generally procrastinate like to what studies, like all of studies. Like I just hate studying and all. And then at one point, it made me realize why I was doing that. And when I addressed that, I just suddenly had this like advent passion towards studying and just you know becoming better and learning. And um, after that, procrastination became reduced to um, just specific instances. Like for example, uh, let's say I was supposed to prepare for like uh, a public speaking presentation. So then I, I would be procrastinating on that specifically, um, but not on the other things in my life. So then procrastination became reduced to specific instances. And when I got down to the root of um, those situations, then the procrastination disappeared. And today, I would say that I actually do not experience procrastination at all. And if I ever do, what it means to me is that there's something to be explored. And I just look into that issue, address it, and the procrastination will be gone. So I hope you find this podcast uh, or this web lecture useful today. Because I'm going to sh- uh, kind of break down procrastination, the concept and the notion of procrastination um, in the uh, next 20 minutes or so. And um, at the last part of today's web lecture, I'm going to include an exercise you can use to help you get down to your procrastination issue. Okay, so without further ado, let me start. Okay, so like I said just now, procrastination is a symptom of a bigger issue. So then the question is, what is that issue? Well, I have um, found that this issue can be classified into two big categories. The first issue is the lack of desire toward the thing that um, the person ideally wants to do but isn't doing. And the second um, root issue is fear. And I'm going to talk about them uh, one by one here. So let's talk about the lack of desire. Now, whenever you find someone procrastinating on something, one of the big, uh, one of the two reasons would be the lack of desire toward that thing. And um, the this is just like there's two um, there's two uh, forces here at work. So you know whenever you procrastinate, um, firstly lack of desire, and and then there's the fear. So when your fe- when your desire is not strong enough, when your desire is lesser than your fear, like your fear is big, then you experience procrastination. Or you can have another situation where your desire is very very strong, like you really want to do this thing, but your fear is even bigger. So in that instance, you will experience procrastination at, uh, as well. So, um, when, okay, so when we look at the people who procrastinate, I think one big uh, common trend is that they just don't have the desire to do that. So uh, a common example would be when people cro- procrastinate um, about going to work or people procrastinate about their studies, like studying for ex- exams or handing in their assignments. On, or when someone says like, um, oh, I, I want to um, write a book. And then they procrastinate on the writing process and everything. Or someone says, like, I want to start my online business. But they keep procrastinating on it. And in each of these instances, if you really look deep into it, it's because they just lack the desire. Like someone who lacks, um, who procrastinates going to work, it's because he's just not passionate about the work anymore. Like it could be that he likes the work, but he's just not passionate about it, you know? And for someone who is um, procrastinating toward his or her studies, it could just be that he or she has uh, realized somewhere that this subject that uh, he or she is studying is just not his or her passion. Like, he or she just doesn't want to do it anymore. Like, you know, uh, he or she has, like, an interest in some other subject. And that is why the procrastination surfaces. Or in um, the other example, where uh, someone experiences procrastination with regards to writing, um, like writing a novel, writing a book, it could be that actually he saw, um, like two to three years ago, uh, his, his or her aspiration is to write a book or a novel, but the him or her now has different aspirations altogether, and uh, he or she just has not updated his or her goals, and hence uh, the procrastination toward this goal. And, and same for the other examples, like setting up an online business and so on. Like maybe uh, he or she wanted to set up an online business because 
that's what other people kept saying like it's a good uh, source of income or it's a great way to make money yada 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 and um he or she just bought into that but the heart was never into it so all these instances you can see the lack of desire at work so it's important then um, to address this because i think the biggest thing is that you should never be pursuing something that you don't have a desire in like if you fundamentally do not like or do not want to do this for your own sake then you totally should not be pursuing it you should just abandon the goals uh, or the things that you do not want to do deep down inside so look at the things that um, you're procrastinating to what today is there anything like um, you, that you're procrastinating because you actually fundamentally do not want to do that because I actually I, I think contrary to what many people might think I actually think that we humans all of us have an innate desire to be better we have an innate desire to improve to achieve greatness to pursue the things that we want to, to do and procrastination is just simply a manifestation of uh, like a incongru incongruent beliefs like incongruent thinking and when we address that our natural selves will just soar will just go all out and do the things that we love and it doesn't even require any energy at all like it's just how we behave um, normally as our fundamental selves so the first root cause will be the lack of desire now if I look at the the second root cause of procrastination that would then be fear okay so let's say you are passionate about something but then you experience fear and that fear is so much bigger than your desire okay so what's gonna happen is that you will then experience procrastination as well okay so um, take me for example um, when I first started uh, personal excellence which is my personal development business like um, there will be times where I was invited or, or I was asked to give speeches and presentations and I found like it during the first few times even though like I'm, I was just really passionate about helping others I was passionate about the engagement I was passionate about the opportunity uh, but I was procrastinating um, when it came to preparing um, the materials and so on and so when I thought about it in terms of desire that was not relevant for me at all like I knew I wanted to do this I even actively sought out for those speaking engagements and I was so aesthetic when I got them so why is it that when it came to preparing the doing of the, the speech like I was putting it off and I realized it was because of fear like I was fearful that maybe I'll make some mistakes um, I was fearful of um, how the presentation will unfold like I was just fearful of the experience itself and and here my fear outweighed my desire so my desire was really very high but my fear outweighed that so and then that led to procrastination so when I really dug in to my uh, my mind my heart to understand what that fear was where it was coming from and really address that at the root that um, the procrastination behavior just disappeared totally like after that I just became um, very um, enthusiastic passionate about the preparation of the uh, all my presentations and all my training so that um, so eradicating the fear here just helped me address um, the situation so likewise for those of you who have, uh, are in situations where you want to do that thing but you're procrastinating well the chances are that um, it's because of fear and it is important that here you look into your fear understand what it is and address um, that fear well I think sometimes it's um, if the fear is not too big it's easy to just adopt a just do it approach and just do it anyway and the fear will just dissipate as you walk through it uh, but there are times where the fear is so big that the person is just paralyzed the person can't do anything at all so this is where it's helpful to really understand the fear uh, break it down and then address it uh, one by one okay so there you have it two root causes of procrastination in fact I'll say the two fundamental biggest like reasons anything um, where 
any reason the person has for procrastination can simply be classified into either of these categories. So first is lack of desire, the second is fear. Um, I would like to use this moment to sort of talk a little bit about procrastination as an issue itself. I have found that um, procrastination usually manifests for people who are not um, entirely aligned with themselves and their goals and beliefs. And um, the more you align with yourself uh, and the more you know yourself and your values, the more procrastination will disappear and no longer be a part of your daily life. So someone who suffers from procrastination on a daily, weekly, monthly or regular basis is usually uh, representative of um, some underlying uh, incongruency in his or her life. So uh, for that say, for someone who keeps procrastinating about health and fitness, about becoming healthier, about eating healthier, it might represent that there is actually some fundamental underlying incongruency between his, his or her healthy lifestyle, desires, and his or her life at this moment in time. So it's very important. Um, I mean, one approach which I guess uh, the majority of the mass population do is that they just push themselves to go to the gym anyway. Uh, they just force themselves to adhere to a certain diet. And no doubt it works for the first week, first few days even, or maybe for some people even the first day. And after that, it just goes right back to the original problem. So you have to address that underlying incongruency. Like why is it that you're just procrastinating about this uh, part in your life? So when you address that, then that will really help you to blow the whole issue wide open. Okay, so I would say like, um. Ever since a long while ago, if uh, ever, that I have never really seen procrastination as an issue. I have always uh, dug deep into to understand what was causing procrastination. So doing that has really uh, removed it from from my life. So I no longer see procrastination as a problem at all. Like it, it always comes to me as a symptom of something else. And doing so has really helped to uh, eliminate it from the things I, I do, like in my daily life. So, so today, I only do the things I'm passionate in. I have come to realize that uh, there's no point in doing things that I don't believe in. And um, for that reason, I don't uh, experience procrastination. And the second um, thing that I, the big thing that I did was always to understand why, uh, if there's any fear involved, why that fear is there because I found that um, again like I said just now like I think us fundamentally by our natural selves in our natural selves in our natural state we just want to grow we just want to improve we just want to become better fear is just something that comes up when we have a wrong understanding of reality and when you address that and when you really um, break that wide open everything it just disappears like all the fear all the, the you just realize that all those fear that you held in the past was just in your mind totally in your mind okay and you as your natural self to just go all out to pursue the things that you believe in so here i'm going to share with you uh, an exercise on how you can overcome procrastination so basically integrating what i just shared Okay, so um, by the way, there's an overcoming uh, a series on overcoming procrastination on personalexcellence.co, and to uh, access that, you can go to personalexcellence.co/blog/procrastination, and this exercise can be found in part five of the series. So this is actually one of the most popular series on uh, personal excellence, and you can also download the ebook version of this series um, in the ebook section. So in the navigation, when you click, uh, when you hover over free downloads, you'll see a part which is which says uh, free ebook. And there, there are uh, several ebooks of the top classics at PE, and Overcoming Procrastination is one of the ebooks that I provide. Okay, so it's the ebook number five. Okay, so now going back to the exercise itself. Okay, this exercise, the objective of this exercise is to uncover why you procrastinate. 
Okay, so if there's anything that in your life right now that you're procrastinating about, use this exercise to blow the issue wide open. Okay, so are you ready? Let's go now. Okay, step one. Start off by identifying something that you're procrastinating on, even though you want to work on it. So this should be something that um, you have been meaning to work on, but you just keep uh, putting it off. So for example, for some people, it could be, say, uh, finding their life purpose. They just keep saying that I want to find my life purpose, but uh, they're not doing anything about it. They're not doing anything to discover it. And uh, you might have some people who uh, want to work on their health and fitness. They want to lose weight. They want to build muscle. But um, they just keep procrastinating on it. And you could have uh, people who just say, like, um, they want to address their emotional eating issues, but they're not doing anything about it. They just continue the cycle of forcing themselves to eat lesser and then uh, binging after a few days and so on and so forth. Or you could have someone who, who wants to work on the relationship aspect of uh, his or her life. Like uh, maybe he or she is single, but he, he or she, and he or she wants to find a, uh, someone, a uh, special someone, but he or she is not really doing anything about it. So in the, all these instances, you can see procrastination at work. So identify something that you're procrastinating on, even though you want to work on it. Okay, I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it now. Okay, so when you're done, now let's go to step two. Okay, step two is to ask yourself, why am I putting this off? Okay, and write down everything that comes up. So you may have like one, one answer, two answers, or even five answers and it doesn't matter. So um, even if your mind responds with like a, I don't know why I'm putting this off. I don't know why I'm procrastinating. Write that down. Okay, this is what I call the brain dumping exercise. And I refer to it quite often on personal excellence. And the point of this exercise is really just to dump out all your thoughts surrounding um, this, like why you're procrastinating on this topic. Because think of your mind, think of your mind as made up of a jumble of many, many different thoughts, like millions of thoughts. And when you do this brain dumping exercise, writing out you know, everything on your mind as to why you're putting this off, it actually helps you get clarity on the thoughts that are floating in your mind. And it helps you to organize uh, and understand or gain awareness to the thoughts in your mind. So it's sort of the same as when you want to organize your wardrobe, okay? Um, let's say you have a lot of clothes and they're all jumbled out or messy and everything. Like, how would you organize your wardrobe? Would you A, try to arrange and fold the clothes inside the wardrobe? Or would you B, remove all the clothes from the wardrobe first, then try to sort them out? And I, I would say most people would choose B. Why? Because that is simply the more effective approach. When you put everything out and you start off with a blank slate, it helps you and, and you get um, the space to really organize and look at um, the clothes. Then it, it helps make the process much more effective and efficient. So it's exactly the same here. So ask yourself why you're putting this off and write down all the answers that ensue. And, and then this process can take anywhere from 5 minutes to even over 30 minutes depending on uh, how severe the procrastination is. And um, you find that the more often you do this exercise, the faster you become. So the first time I did this exercise, I guess maybe it, it took like um, 20, 30 minutes. And then after that, I think uh, there was still like I still did more settings for it where I, I went, uh, got more answers. And uh, subsequently, like um, like today, I can just instantly tell uh, why I'm procrastinating or, or the root reason why I'm procrastinating or something in just like one or two seconds right away like because um, like all my fundamental or, or all my initial uh, thoughts surrounding procrastination uh, really like remove and sorted out so then now it just allows me to immediately get to the root okay why am I procrastinating on this oh it's because of that reason okay let's fix it and then done like the procrastination disappears so the more you do this, the more uh, efficient you're going to be in it. So um, write down why you're putting this off in your life and write down as much as you, can, you want to. You can write it on paper, you can type it in your computer, 
I myself um, usually use the PC. I just think it's environmentally uh, more friendly than using paper. And um, I, I just simply type faster than I write. But uh, do whatever you want. Well, I guess um, if you're listening to this while you're jogging or while you're uh, commuting, I, 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 maybe writing is not really an option. So what you can do here is just to um, think about it out loud. Or if you're in your car, you can talk about it out loud. So you can say something like, okay, um, I'm, procrastinating, uh, I'm procrastinating on this because uh, I don't really like it. I'm procrastinating on this because it is just too difficult for me to do. I am procrastinating on this because it's just too fearful. Uh, I'm just too scared about what's going to happen next. Um, I'm procrastinating on this because I'm scared of failure. I'm scared about what will happen next. Okay, so just keep doing that. And just po you can pause the, the podcast here, right here, if you are listening to the podcast. And if you are watching the web lecture, just pause it right now. And just do this exercise first for like the next 5, 10, 15, however long you need to take minutes. Okay? Okay, so now that you're done with step 2, let's now go to step 3. And step 3 is to pick out the hotspot answers for probing. So, um, in part 2 of the exercise, I talk, uh, step 2 of the exercise, I said, like, just write down everything that comes to mind, right? Now, you're going to have, like, a whole list, probably, a whole list of answers that you can look at. Uh, and so from there, uh, or if you just talked about your answers out loud, then um, there might have been one here or there that caught your eye, like, um, and you it caught your consciousness, and you it was you it made you wonder, wow, that was what I was thinking. Okay, so for these, these are considered the hotspot answers. Like it resonated with you when you wrote it out or when you said it. Okay, pick out these hotspot answers and start probing into them. Okay, so for example, maybe a hotspot answer might be, okay, for example, let's say this person uh, is procrastinating about starting his business. And what are, one of the hotspot answers was, um, I'm afraid of failure. And that might totally come as a root shock to him because he is someone who's like a go-getter who just um, isn't afraid of failing or anything like that. So, so for that thought to come out of his subconsciousness, that totally took him by surprise. So this would be a hotspot answer for him. Uh, or for someone who is procrastinating about, say, finding finding love, you know, seeking a relationship, a long-term uh, healthy relationship. Uh, one of the answers that might have uh, uh, came out just now would be, say, um, I'm afraid that nobody wants me and maybe there's something that just, you know, uh, took him by surprise. So this would be another hotspot answer for probing. So pick out these hotspot answers to probe further in. Okay, which then moves us to step four of the exercise, which is to probe into these hotspot answers. Okay, so for example, let's say one of your hotspot answers is, I'm afraid of uh, failure. Ask yourself, why am I afraid of failure? And then just write whatever that comes up. You just write whatever that comes up. Don't censor, don't filter. Okay, so let's say in the, the other example that I mentioned, let's say one of the hotspot answer was, uh, I'm afraid that uh, nobody wants me. Then write down, write that down. Like, why am I afraid of that? Okay, or, or you can even ask yourself, why would I think that nobody would want me? Okay, so, so just try to probe and understand where those thoughts are coming from because every single thought in your mind comes from somewhere. It doesn't just pop out of nowhere, like it just all of them came from inside you. So you have to understand why are they there because unless you understand them, they'll just keep coming back again and again because the fundamental underlying reason was not understood. Okay, so again, take as long as you want for this step. Just write as much as you want. In fact, the deeper you go, the more uh, you uncover. Okay, the more you blow the issue wide open. So those people who just give up after like writing one or two lines, like those are the people who continue to struggle with procrastination on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Whereas the people who really dig deep, understand um, why they are doing what they are doing, you'll find that procrastination will just quickly, like slowly seep away from their life to the point where just totally congruent with um, their actions in their life. 
like their thinking and their actions and their beliefs, everything is just in sync. Okay, now, moving to step five of the exercise. Oh, by the way, um, just feel free to pause the podcast or the web lecture whenever you want as you do this exercise. So now, moving to step five of the exercise, keep repeating number four, step number four, which is the probing into your hotspots. Keep repeating that until you reach an aha moment that just cracks the whole issue like wide open. So you will know this when it happens. Like I know some people will say like, okay, how do I know when I reach this? Like, so that cracks the whole issue wide open. You know, when you reach there, you will know. You will totally like, oh my gosh, like this is the reason why I was procrastinating. Like, and then uh, everything just suddenly dawns on you and suddenly you can even like almost literally see like bright light shining down on you from above and all that like um, that will happen so you will know when it happens but just keep probing and and repeating number four understanding why understanding why and it will help you to uh, uncover an answer achieve a new level of realization that you never knew and um like and that it could even be a realization that you suspected but never acknowledged or embraced so that could be an aha moment as well. So anything that helps you to realize uh, or see the situation on a new level, on a new light. Okay, and then when you do that, when you find that aha moment and you realize what has been causing you to procrastinate, then we move to the last step of the exercise, which is to create an action plan to resolve this uh, root issue. So um. I talk a lot about goal achievement on PE and um, so this is no different from say setting a goal and achieving it. So whatever was the underlying reason, the fundamental reason that was holding you back, now come up with an action plan to address that. And it can be some it can be just some simple action steps. It can be an elaborate action plan as well. And that really depends on uh, whatever is the, the issue here. So for example, someone who procrastinates on public speaking and then um, the real reason for him was because he was just afraid of embarrassing himself and he was afraid of embarrassing himself because he feels like he does not have the public speaking skills like he's just not good in public speaking and um, he can't articulate himself in public he can't convey his thoughts uh, in a, a convincing eloquent manner so the action plan here may just be to simply work on his public speaking skills. So maybe signing up for Toastmasters, maybe um, reading more public speaking books, maybe practicing more often, maybe practicing in front of the mirror, maybe uh, reading websites and blogs on public speaking. So all this would be um, definitely very useful. And all these would be steps toward improving his uh, public speaking skills. So it all depends on what is the underlying root cause that you're dealing with here. Okay, so um, wrapping up, I hope uh, you have found this uh, web lecture useful. Basically, at the end of the day, procrastination is a symptom of a bigger issue. And um, procrastinations, procrastination can uh, be classified into two categories. One, because of the lack of desire. The second because of fear and when you really address the underlying root causes of procrastination that's when you really um, resolve it permanently so like different instances of procrastination will have um, different reasons altogether and uh, understanding what that reason is and really addressing it will resolve that permanently and while you as you do this more and more often you'll find that procrastination starts to become a less and a less and lesser occurrence in your life and you just start to become more and more aligned in your actions and your beliefs and that's when you know that you know you have really uh, taken leaps uh, big steps forward um, in your personal growth and in terms of uh, being who you are and who you're meant to be and just really uh, coming full circle uh, with the real you inside so um, to read the procrastination series, go to personalexcellence.co, that's .co slash blog slash procrastination and uh, subscribe to the channel for more um, videos and web lectures like this, that's youtube.com slash Celestine Chua.
uh, show some love, show some support, like the video if you found it useful, share it with other people, um, and uh, leave a comment if you want to. So that's it, and thanks for listening. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next web lecture. Bye, guys.